Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to She's Cooking. Today I am super excited because we're gonna be making seafood Popeyes with Cheddar Bay Biscuits like Red Lobster, but so much better because everything is from scratch, y'all. So I went ahead and loaded up my Popeye. I added lump crab, I added shrimp, and I also added some scallops to mine. And I'm telling y'all, the scallops made it so good. Like it was bomb, it was the texture for me. I don't want to waste too much more time. I want to roll right into this video. But first, if you guys are new here and haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another video. Okay, to start off, let's chop up a fourth of red and green bell pepper, two stalks of green onion, and two stalks of celery, and also a half of yellow onion. So I went to Costco and got like a 16 ounce lump crab, and then I went ahead and squeezed half of a lemon on top of it because y'all know lump crab and lemon juice makes it so much more better. So let's go ahead and add our shrimp in and you wanna go ahead and season it up so you don't have to season it separately. You're gonna add in a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, one packet of the Goya seasoning, add a tablespoon of shrimp and crab boil concentrate and I'm telling y'all this makes it so much more better so you're gonna mix it in but be sure to use a glove or something because this can irritate your skin and y'all know it wouldn't be right if we didn't saute our veggies so go ahead and add a tablespoon of olive oil or vegetable oil depending on what you want to use or what you have and get it nice and hot then add your veggies to the pan So now let's add a mixture of green beans, peas, corns, and carrots. I got this bag from Costco. It came all together, but if you want a smaller bag, you can find it at your local grocery store. Here I'm adding four red potatoes to the pan. I softened them by putting them in a microwave covered in water for five minutes, just so they wouldn't take as long to cook. Add in a half a stick of unsalted butter and let that melt. So to make the soup mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add in two cups of chicken broth. Add a cup of heavy whipping cream and mix it in and you wanna let this cook for about three minutes. And to season it up, we're gonna add in a pinch of red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of Old Bay, a tablespoon of onion and garlic powder, and go ahead and mix that together. So here we'll be adding the seafood in, and you wanna cook this for about five to 10 minutes, and you wanna wait until your shrimp turns like that pinkish reddish color. And don't worry if you don't think that your seafood is all the way done cooking because we will be putting this in the oven. Now I'm adding in my scallops, which don't be like me, y'all. I could have just added it all in together when I added in the shrimp and the lump crab. So now to thicken our sauce, go ahead and add in two tablespoons of flour and mix it together. You want to make sure you mix all of that flour in so you don't get any of the flour taste. I'm adding in a 10 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup because not only will it make it thicker, but that flavor, baby, let me just tell y'all, it's bomb. So that's what it looks like just in case y'all want to get some. It's completely optional and up to y'all. So 
So after tasting mine, I realized that it needed a little bit more seasoning. So I'm adding a tablespoon of adobo seasoning. Taste yours, see whatever it needs, and hook it up. So you'll cook yours until your desired thickness. And I'm just showing y'all how mine's look, and it looks bomb. Now let's make our Cheddar Bay Biscuits. And for real, this recipe puts Red Lobster's Little Biscuits to shame. Combine all your ingredients in a large bowl, add two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of garlic and onion powder. Add one cup of cheddar cheese and I use sharp cheddar. Add in one fourth cup of fresh parsley and also add in one stick of cold sliced unsalted butter. to mix it let's dig in and squeeze it super hard like pay attention to my hands y'all add in a cup of buttermilk and mix it together with the big spoon or spatula whatever you have works for you I used the cast iron skillet and to oil it I went ahead and did one tablespoon of olive oil and spread it with a paper towel all over For the bottom crust, we'll be using the Pillsbury pie crust. It comes two in the pack, and I got this from my local grocery store in the fridge aisle. So you wanna unroll them one at a time and just spread it all over. And here, I was trying to be really careful about placing it and not pulling it too hard because it's super easy to break. But the thing about dough is you can always put it back together and form it any type of way you want. So don't worry if it breaks apart. Using a fork, go ahead and stick holes all over the bottom. Add the seafood filling in, and honestly, this is the most satisfying part for me. Like, I just love how thick it is. It's not too thick, but it's also not runny. It's literally perfect. So to form the biscuits, you want to roll them in your hand into a ball form and then you're going to place them all over the pie crust. I was able to make 10 biscuits out of this mixture so it'll definitely be enough and it'll cover. Now we're gonna add this to the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes on 375, checking them occasionally to make sure that the biscuits are good. While that's cooking, let's go ahead and make the butter sauce that go on top of the biscuits. We're gonna melt down one stick of unsalted butter and add about two tablespoons of parsley, then mix that together. Add your butter sauce to the biscuits and now my mouth is watering like for real y'all i know y'all ready to dig in but let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes after you take it out of the oven and then you can enjoy it and if you guys like this video don't forget to thumb it up and comment down below subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't done so never miss another video